Hi everyone, Wonia Thibault here with Buckskin Revolution, and I wanted to walk you through one of the little nutritional protocols that I like to do in my life in general to feel good and healthy in my body, and extra important right now when what we want is strong, healthy systems so that our immune systems are absolutely as functional as they can possibly be. So, you know, we hear a lot about all of the different vitamins and supplements there are out there and how important it is to get a well-balanced diet and keep your nutrition up. And the truth is that supplements just don't do for us what eating good, healthy, high-quality foods do, right? Our bodies are designed to get their nutrition from what we eat, not from little pills with little ground-up powders and such. So you can take all of the vitamins you want, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to stay in your body and do what you want them to do. So that said, let's talk about one thing that you can incorporate into your routines that's not only delicious and feels good, but can make you stronger and healthier and more resilient should you be taxed by any illness coming your way. So this is my formulation for a bone broth elixir. Now, I often like to have this be the first thing that I eat in the day, but it doesn't need to be. It can be any time. It can be a great little afternoon snack or a pick-me-up. Say you're lagging in the afternoon and you want to reach for that cup of coffee or bar of chocolate. How about making up a nice bone broth elixir instead? So take my jar and I take my hot water and I start with a base of bone broth. Now, bone broth is doing so many things for you. It's full of minerals, it's full of collagen, and those things are important building blocks for your body. But another thing that's really important about them is that they are really nourishing to your digestive system and your gut ecosystem. You really want a healthy gut ecosystem and healthy microflora in order to keep yourself healthy and well. They're one of our first lines of defense fence in all things that ail us and without them functioning well and taking in the nutrients we need from our food it doesn't matter what we're putting in our bodies right so super key bone broth is really good for them totally prefer making my own broth definitely recommend that that's not always available to everyone and these days I've been traveling a lot so it's not as available to me so I like this brand it's called beyond bone broth it's not perfect. I would rather have an organic free range broth, but those can be a lot harder to come by. So I go with this one when it is what I have access to. So one good scoop of bone broth. And then ideally a good bone broth should have plenty of collagen, but collagen, again, so good for our system, good for healthy skin and our joints, and it just keeps everything working well, plus it boosts the protein content. So I add a little bit extra collagen to my bone broth powder. So that looks like just a scoop. And you know, unflavored gelatin is collagen. So that's an easy way to get it into your system, but you can buy healthy, fancy, you know, health food store brand collagens, which is what this is. I think this might be Bulletproof brand. There are a lot of them out there. Just make sure that they don't have any fillers or weird stuff. And as always, you know, organic, free range animals that were treated well, absolutely the best route to go. So bone broth and collagen. And then I like to add a little bit of vitamin mineral green powder. Now this is a supplement that is made from plants and algae and living things as opposed to, you know, ground up minerals. So it's a good way to just boost the nutrition content, get a little bit of chlorophyll in there and a little bit more vitamins and minerals. So vitamin mineral green, it's really strong. So I use just a little bit. And then, you know, I have some chronic joint issues, bad shoulders, although honestly, those have been a little bit better since long-term starvation on alone, amazingly. Um, but still, I really like to do something to help my joints be really healthy, also good for skin and bones. And that is a little bit of MSM powder. So I add, usually I do one or two scoops, just a little bit. It is methyl sulfonyl methane. So, memorize that. Just kidding. You can find it under MSM. And then I like to add a little bit of turmeric and I use the powder often when I'm traveling. 
turmeric is an anti-inflammatory and a lot of folks consider it an adaptogen, which is a really wonderful class of herbs to know about. I'll talk about those in another video. Or fresh, even better. Definitely good way to go if you have access. So I just kind of cut a little bit up into there and then I'll eat it out of the bottom at the end. So mushrooms are really wonderful for immunity. Some of them are adaptogens and all kinds of really, really powerful immune support in a variety of different mushrooms. The one I have on hand right now is chaga, which I harvested myself, but I really recommend there's a blend called Five Defenders that comes from a company called Real Mushrooms. Now this is a powder rather than just a pulverized mushroom, so it goes into solution really well. So just a little scoop of that just to boost the immunity. And then I'm gonna add some hot water. And then I'm going to let this cool a bit because I wanna add some probiotics to this. And if it's too hot, then it's just gonna kill off all of the living things in the probiotics. And then they're great for flavor, but they're not really giving me the biotics I'm after. So I add the hot water and let everything steep and melt and go into solution like that. And then while I'm waiting for it to cool, I'm gonna add a little bit of MCT oil. So this is an oil that comes from coconut and MCT oil is referred to as a brain booster and it's really good to get your metabolism online. The, the short story is that MCT oil is an oil that is easy for your body to assimilate directly and burn fat as its energy source. Whereas most of the time, most of our bodies are mostly burning carbohydrates as their energy source. But it's really good to have a more well-rounded metabolism and the ability to burn fat. And MCT oil can help get your body in the habit of burning its fat reserves for energy, which is a lot more efficient way to be. Uh, when you're in ketosis, that's what you're doing. And that's why a lot of people tout ketosis. I think trying to live in ketosis all the time is a little too extreme, but it's nice to have something get a little bit more metabolic balance in your system. I usually do maybe a tablespoon because I'm usually having my bone broth as my first meal of the day. The MCT oil is going to boost the calorie content and it's gonna help keep me full and it's gonna give my body something to burn on that's proteins and fat as opposed to carbohydrates, which is what can set you up for some of those blood sugar spikes and falls. So super good way to start off your day. And then one thing that I really tout as a wonderful, wonderful health practice is eating liver regularly. Now, a lot of people don't like the taste of liver. It's not always super common to find, and sometimes it's hard to have regularly enough to get all of the health benefits. So what I like to do is get a lot of liver and dry it. So this is all wild liver, elk and deer liver from friends who hunt or game processors because so many people don't keep the organs of their animals. But you can also buy chicken liver or beef liver, slice it fine and dry it, and then you have a wonderful health supplement, so good for you, way better than any multivitamin out there, and it keeps forever, it's easy to travel with, and you know, you can eat this just like you would eat jerky, it's a little different texture, or I sometimes like to add it to my bone broth and let it soften in the warm liquid. Now, I find the flavor of dried liver to be milder than the flavor of fresh liver. So if you're someone who doesn't really like liver, this can be a good way to go. Or if you really just don't want to taste it at all, you can just grind it up with like a Vitamix or some other grinder and put it in capsules and then swallow them. You never have to taste it. I've got a video on drying your own liver jerky also to check out elsewhere on my channel. And honestly, I think this stuff is delicious. I eat it just as it is. Not necessarily for everybody, but if you can handle it, great way to go. I also am a big advocate for other wild foods to get your nutrients. I'm not adding them to my bone broth, but if I was making more of a soup, I would, and that is nettles. Nettles are a wild green that are one of the most nutritious plants 
that you can eat full of iron and other nutrients full of silica, which is hard to get into your system, chlorophyll, vitamins, really, really great. So these days I've been drinking nettle tea once a day, also just to boost my immunity, but you could add it to your bone broth, you could add it to your soups. Also seaweed, another food that's really high in micronutrients that our bodies don't often get access to and that are harder to take in in mineral form. So in the form of seaweed added to your soups, added to your grain or your bean dishes, makes them more digestible and really boosts the nutrition. Fabulous way to go. And still a little bit on the warm side, but what I'm going to do is pour out a little of my bone broth So it'll cool a little bit and I'm going to add some miso to that. So miso is a probiotic and it is made from fermented soybeans. It doesn't taste anything like tofu or soybeans though. It's really delicious and it's super, super salty. And it is another probiotic and the more different types of probiotic foods you have in your diet, the more you're supporting a really healthy gut microflora. So again, as in all things in your diet, right? Diversity, not just one thing all the time, but different probiotics. So don't just use yogurt. Don't just drink kombucha. Yogurt and kombucha and brine fermented vegetables and miso and so many other wonderful probiotics out there. I mix the miso in because it's a paste, so it doesn't mix in super well to the whole, the whole chunk. Plus this is gonna let it cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of sauerkraut. So for the probiotics, you can use just the juice, um, but I like to just use a little bit of the, of the cabbage and the juice. Again, really great to make your own. If you're on the road or if you don't have that capacity, then this is you know a big container of a good organic live culture sauerkraut. Very important that you get a live culture one that would be in the refrigerated section. You can get sauerkraut in jars, shelf stable, but that's been cooked, so it's not gonna be alive anymore, so you're not getting the probiotics from it. Mix that all up and add my miso back to it. And there I have a delicious bone broth that is so good for me and sets my body up with so many of the things it needs to be healthy and strong, as vital as possible, and also more proof against disease organisms that I might contact throughout my life. Mm. And it's super delicious. So I drink it and then I eat the solids out of the bottom and I'm all set. Obviously, this is a lot of stuff, and when you're on the go, it's going to be hard to haul all of this stuff around. So I do a little travel version of the bone broth, too, where I mix the bone broth powder, the collagen, the turmeric, and the vitamin mineral greens, and so they're all here together. So with this, I just take a bigger scoop right into the jar, and even if I don't have the ability to add these other things, then at least I've got this really good nutrition to go on with. Four parts bone broth to two parts collagen, to one part turmeric, to half a part of vitamineral green. And then it's all ready to go. Easy peasy.